Guys, it's me, Carrie, and I'm back with, sorry, I was leaning weird. I'm back with one more video for you today. I have a lip gloss review um, and first impressions. These are two Disney Princess lip glosses that I received in a friend mail from my friend Julie. There is a Snow White and hers is apple flavored. And I tried to peel off the little price tag up there so you can kind of see apple flavored. The packaging on these are so, so cute. And then there is a Cinderella and hers is vanilla flavored. Now, you can probably guess what I'm going to say when I tell you that these are made by Taste Beauty. They are Taste Beauty and they say flavored. <laughs> As you may know, if you watched my review videos yesterday, Taste Beauty saying flavored on their package literally doesn't mean much of anything because most Taste Beauty items actually don't have a flavor or if they do it's not really what they're supposed to be. Uh, it's a pet peeve of mine now. I get really irritated by it with any company but especially with Taste Beauty because they're very inconsistent. Very, very inconsistent. More so than any company honestly that I think I've ever dealt with in terms of buying lip balm products. They say flavored. They're usually scented. Not always but they're very, very, very rarely flavored. If you're going to put flavored on the packaging, it should be flavored. That should kind of go without saying, right? Just say vanilla scented and apple scented, or just say apple lip balm and vanilla lip balm. Don't put the word flavored on if they're not gonna be flavored. I'm really hoping that these will be, because sometimes Taste Beauty surprises me in good ways, but not always, but we shall see. The packaging, again, of these are so, so, so stinking cute. And these are glosses. They're not bombs. But I just thought these were really, 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 really precious. Okay, first of all, be ready for Rude Awakening. You're going to look at this and you're going to go, Oh my God, there's so much lip balm in there. Surprise! That's the lip balm right there. And that little square which let me see if I can even manage to get it open it's supposed to open outwards like this I think there's like a little fastener let me see if I can get it open yeah that's the lip balm or lip gloss so don't get your hopes up that it's going to fill this whole entire back of Snow White it actually is 0.07 ounces so that's a pretty small amount again these are stinking cute and I really, really, really hope they don't disappoint me with scent and flavor. But we shall see, because Taste Beauty has been known to do that. Now, I recently learned, I've seen a lot of people do this, and I haven't always. Most people recommend that you wipe off the top layer of your lip balms or your lip glosses before you even sniff them. Because sometimes there's like a waxy residue to kind of preserve them and... You might need to get through that little initial layer before you get to the actual scent and flavor. So I rubbed a lot of that on. Now I get why people actually do this swatching. Not just to see if there's color payoff, which there is not, but to get through that initial waxiness, I guess. So, hmm. Hmm. It does smell sweet, lightly sweet. I'm not getting apple. Let's try it for flavor. I'm scared <laughs> because generally Taste Beauty does not come through with the flavor. Occasionally they do. Occasionally they do. But those incidents are few and far between, unfortunately. And is there a little color payoff? Maybe a little. It didn't look like it on my hand. Wow. Okay. That's a pleasant surprise. That actually is flavored. I wouldn't have guessed apple necessarily. It is generic kind of sweet, but it does have a flavor. And on my lips, I think it does actually have a little slight bit of color payoff. So that is a pleasant, pleasant surprise. I'm actually really pretty pleased with this. So yay, taste. You got one right. <laughs> that's very cool. I mean, it's a very artificial sweet flavor. It's not like, you know, you would go, oh, that's apple and go, mm, it's like I'm tasting a fresh apple. But it does have, it does have a sweet flavor. So there's that. Slightly, slightly perfumey as well. You know, you really can't see any color payoff on the tissue at all. But I'm not altogether disappointed with that. That's actually not bad. So I am going to bust open this vanilla one now and see how Cinderella works out. 
and I don't think, do they say on the back what the flavors are? They don't. So I may have to do my little magic sticker thing on the back. But again, there it is. It's just the little square behind her head. And there's like the hinge. So you know you've got to like reach for that little lip there and kind of pop it open. And it's not the easiest thing in the world to open, but eh, let's try to do it without breaking it. Actually, this one's really hard to open. Wow. Okay. Um, hmm. There we go. And it kind of flips over and there's the bomb inside. It's just like this kind of light, light, light yellow. And I will swatch this one, test this one with a different finger and rub it really well. The consistency of it is almost like a bomb. It's not as glossy and slick as some glosses are. It's very thin when you apply it like a lip gloss, but it doesn't feel like super, super greasy or anything like some lip glosses do. And it's not sticky at all, so that's good. Kind of smells vanilla-ish. Like, again, I wouldn't necessarily know. Like, on my, on my hand, I smell nothing. And here I smell the tiniest bit of vanilla scent. But let me wipe this off, and we will apply some and see if this one has a taste. See, that's, that's the thing that irks me the most about Taste Beauty, is that they really do a great, great, great job on packaging. But you don't buy lip balm primarily for packaging, at least I don't. I want it because it's a good product that you can rely on. And Taste Beauty is just so up and down and all over the place with their quality. I just never know what to expect. So it makes me really reluctant to buy their stuff. Even I do have a few more after holiday purchases that I made from Walmart for like a quarter a piece that I still have to review for you guys. I'm not even excited about them because I'm really nervous that they're not going to be that good. That does have a taste, too. It's vaguely reminiscent of vanilla, I suppose. It is it is a nice taste. I'm, I'm not unhappy with these. I'm not, you know, like, oh, my God, they're the best things I've ever tried in my life. But as far as taste beauty goes, I'm pretty pleasantly surprised. Again, the packaging is super sweet, very unique. I like that they're almost flat, so you could stick them in your purse and they'd be really easy to find. I like that they, you know, put the little gemstones on, you know, so you get a little bling action. And the princesses are just really, like, cute kawaii versions of themselves. And I just, I think they're really, really, really cute. I don't know where Julie got these, but I think they're sweet. And they were labeled a dollar a piece. So just so you know, they are within the usual Taste Beauty price point range, which is mostly a dollar. Sometimes when you get the, the stick, like not the stick glosses, the ones that, well, the, they're like the wand glosses, the ones that come and they look like they have like the, they have the doe foot applicator and they look like they're kind of in a stick. Those sometimes you can get two for a dollar, but um, generally taste stuff with the exception, as far as I know, of the one they had at Sephora for 10 bucks around the holidays. Um, the taste beauty price point tends to be about about a buck, you know, in general, unless you get them clearance somewhere. So overall, I'm pretty happy with these. They're definitely really unique and really, really adorable. So I'm happy to have them. But, um, but taste beauty just has to really work on consistency for me to give them like the full vote of confidence and for me to go out and buy products, even at a dollar, even at the full price of a dollar, I'm reluctant to buy. I'm st like I said, I'm still nervous to try the ones I bought for a quarter and 50 cents after Christmas, but I'm cautiously optimistic. We shall see. I will definitely be reviewing the rest of those in the days to come because I want to try to get through all of my Taste Beauty stuff and then I can move on to like a different brand because I have some chapsticks. I still have the Valentine's Day chapstick set to review. I have, um, I know I've got some other brands. I think I may still have some lip smackers. Oh, I do. I have the 10 pack that I got at Christmas time and the Christmas tin. I'm all over the place with different holidays and getting stuff done. I apologize for that, guys. I'm not really having much rhyme or reason to it. That's why I'm trying to get a little bit more logical now and just go, okay, let's just stick with getting all the Taste Beauties reviewed and then we can move on to a different brand. So I do have quite a few more in this little box back here, which I got for a dollar on clearance um, in the Valentine's Day section at Walmart the other day, just a standard photo box, but a buck is a great price. I will just give you a peek at the Taste Beauties still to come. I'm not going to do them today. I have, some of these were gifts and some of them were ones that I purchased. 
Um, I think both of these were gifts from my friend Lainey. I have the Laffy Taffy and Mystery Swirl and Butterfinger to review in these really adorable packages. Um, I have this Sour Worms that I think came from either Jeannie or Billy. I don't remember which. I'm sorry, girls. And if I'm getting it wrong altogether, please forgive me. I have Mike and Ike and Caribbean Punch, which again came in a friend mail. I don't remember who sent it. I'm sorry. And then I have a Num Noms flavored lip gloss in strawberry. That's the kind of Pucker Pops-esque style. They were selling these at Target for a dollar for a while, and it is marked a dollar. Yeah, that's a Target uh, Target label. And then I have three that I purchased after the holidays. This one actually my husband bought me when they were only 50% off. So this Nerds one was 50 cents. And then these two I got at 75% off at Walmart. This one is Paw Patrol Possum Mint flavored with Sky and a cute little pom-pom hat. And then this one I adore the packaging on. Even if the lip balm's utter crap, I will just empty it and keep the package. This one is hot chocolate flavored Mickey Mouse with the little pom-pom Mickey ears. So those are the taste beauties I still have yet to review for you guys. And those will definitely be the next lip balm reviews I do. I will try to get them done maybe like in two videos because I don't like to do too 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 many at once that it's like overwhelming and you guys are watching me for like 20 minutes. I know some people are you know, prefer the videos shorter. Although some people like them longer, so sometimes they are longer. It just depends. But anyway, that is it for this one. Like I said, these guys, if you find them, I don't know where Julie got them. They're super, super cute. And for a buck, they're kind of fun to have. So thanks for watching, guys. Have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye.